Hola, mi amigos. Mi nombre es Jared. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the Spanish. I, I don't I can't do this entire thing in Spanish. I don't know that much. Anyways, uh, this is Throwback Thursday, and today's game is Harvest Moon: Return to Nature, uh, released December 16th, 1999 in Japan, and November 22nd, 2000 in the U.S. for PlayStation. And the game was later por ported to PSP and PS3 over a PSN. This farming RPG follows the player as he attempts to reestablish his grandfather's old farm and find himself a lady friend. And the player is given three years to do so, which allows them to. Uh, Play, continue playing indefinitely if they if they're able to complete the task, or if they or they lose, which uh, if they don't complete the task, it just immediately ends the game. Uh, there's also a version for the Back to Nature, um, which was released for the main character as female, but the English version was released in 2007 and was an exclusive to the PSP, which bundled it with uh, the Back to Nature normal version. Anyways, let's move on to the facts. Uh, Fact number one, the characters from Back to Nature are all recycled from Harvest Moon 64, just in different jobs and with some slight personality changes. Only three of the characters are new, which include the doctor and the uh, father, uh, not father, but uh, pasture, whatever religion is in the game. Um, fact number two, throwing a crop or animal product you produce into the waterfall will spawn the uh, harvest goddess. Uh, continuing to throw crops into the waterfall leads to additional rewards. Note. Um, only 20 at a time like if you throw in 20 on one day it gives you that benefit but if you continue to do it throughout the whole rest of the game it continues to give you good weather um fact number three the red mailbox in the town between like the supermarket and i think it's the hospital the clinic um serves no purpose at all uh there is an unused mail sprite within like the game itself but um it's not, like I said, it's not used for anything. So uh, this leads many to believe that it is involved in a feature that got cut from the game during uh, development. Fact number four. Uh, Zack's house is the only home in the game that is not accessible by the player. Everyone else's home, you can enter like a creep. Okay. Uh, fact number five. Back to Nature was the first Harvest Moon game not to be on a Nintendo console. So, um, bonus fact. Uh, throwing an item on the ground in town or in somebody's house counts as littering. The more you litter, the more the town dislikes you, and also leads to a higher chance of catching garbage while fishing, having a typhoon during the summer, and having a blizzard during the winter. Uh, going to confession counteracts this uh, littering effect. Okay, the review. Did you moderately enjoy Farmville? Well, that doesn't matter because this game is not bad. I'm usually not the type of guy who enjoys most uh, casual games. Either they're too slow or there's not much to do, but Harvest Moon is something to try. I uh, played this game a while after recording, like, I stopped recording, then I continued to play this game um, for a good another few hours. Uh, it earns a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, honestly, there's not much wrong with the game, except there's just a lot of doing nothing early on. It's just picking up a rock, throwing it on the ground, picking up a weed, throwing it on the ground, picking up a stick, throwing it on the ground. And there's also not a lot of direction whenever you're doing, supposed to be doing stuff. Like I screwed up, I spent over $300 on seeds that I almost wasted all of. Anyways, um, if you have any questions, comments, or just plain gibberish, put in the comments section below and come back next week for more Throwback Thursday on Game Guardians Genesis.